So the first method that I want to define is to get user information. So I'll create public and at this moment I will return a string value like hello rather than proper user details and then I'll call it get user and that will return get user was called. So this is a very simple method. Obviously we will need to work on it more because get user will need to accept user ID which we can use to query database for user details and then it will need to return a JSON payload with user details but at this moment we will return string and to make this get user respond to HTTP get request we will need to bind this method to HTTP get request and for that I will use a special annotation which is called get mapping and I will need to import it and this is it. Now let's handle HTTP post request. So that will be public string and I will call it create user and it will also return a very simple result which will be create user was called. And for this method to respond to HTTP POST request, I will annotate it with POST mapping and then import this annotation. You get the idea. So now we will need to create a method to update user details. So that will be public string update user and that will return update user was called and to bind this method to HTTP put request I will use put mapping and finally a method to delete user details so that will be a very simple method to delete user and it will also return at this moment a string value delete user was called and to bind this method to HTTP delete request, I will use delete mapping. And I will import this annotation. So now we have a very simple uh, RESTful web service, which defines basic crude operations for creating user details, reading user details, updating and deleting user details. But we will have to work with it more to make each of these methods to work properly and this is what we will do in this video course. We will create an API that we can use for our mobile application to create a user, to get user details, to update user details and to delete user details.